Hi, has anyone ever tried to repair a Coleman hot water on demand and you got a little frustrated when you removed this knob? And uh, I'm telling you, I think the manufacturer actually has a special tool to install this knob. This video will show you how to replace it. First, please do not remove this knob because you'll never be able to put it back on. But this video will show you how to do it. Now, there is a spring back there and you can see the spring just popped out. When it's time to um, put this back together, you're gonna find it nearly impossible um, to get the spring back in and, and to hold. Uh, when, when you put this uh, dial back on but I found a way but you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna actually have to drill a hole believe it or not in this dial so like I said the only way I found that you can put this back on is uh, drilling a hole with a fit with a finishing nail so again you have to make sure this tab is is in the off position and you get the silver tab on the dial make sure it's in between those two other tabs and you sort of turn it until it hits that one tab there and uh, and then um, basically you sort of pull it out and you make sure you know where you're gonna drill that it's gonna actually it's gonna be actually before this tab here so that's what I did okay now this spring um, has a short piece to it and a longer piece to it. Once you have the finishing nail in this knob, you're going to have to make sure that this little uh, stub here on the spring goes into that little V point right here. There's like a little V right there. It's going to have to seat inside there like so. And what you're going to then do is you're going to have to pull this longer piece and have it rest on top of that finishing nail. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video, so I'll do that, and I'll show you the next step. Okay, um, like I said, you're going to have to get the small tab into that little V, hold it down with your finger, and with your other hand, you're going to have to get like a flat screwdriver and you're just gonna have to uh, play with this a little bit and get this spring to rest on that finishing nail. So this one is actually spring loaded on that finishing nail. And then uh, all you have to do is basically uh, make sure that that spring is gonna be before this part of the dial and uh, not before the, the second part, but the, but the in between these two tabs on this dial and basically you're just gonna screw this back on and then once you got it screwed back in uh, you're just gonna pull the finishing nail out and uh, it'll be all set it's uh, a little difficult holding the camera and uh, working the tools but anyways this uh, finishing nail is where it's holding that uh, spring tab and I made sure it's before that first dial tab and the metal tab on this dial, I made sure it's it's before that second tab. So now once I got it screwed in there, all you have to basically do now is pull the finishing nail up and you can see the spring is doing its job. It's actually keeping the dial firm. You push and it's back to normal so like I said this thing here was uh, quite frustrating uh, to remove so please do not remove this dial and if you do now I just showed you a way how to get that dial back on 